Hey, what's up, guys? I got half of my movie done today. Well, I'm almost done shooting the movie. I just have a lot more to go. Um, I got a lot done, but I have to shoot a little bit more tomorrow, and I don't have school tomorrow, so why not? I'm going to keep you guys updated, but I made a video um, today, uh, a news thing, a news thing for my movie. It's supposed to be where the killings of Sarah Strode was. Um, it's at that hotel, and there's a news reporter talking about it when um, Lori Myers wakes up and she watches the news. So this video I'm going to show you right here is um, is what's going to be in the movie. Uh, so it, it, I already burned on a disc. Long story. Here's the video. I hope, hope you guys enjoy it. It's part of my movie, a sneak peek clip of Halloween November 2nd. I'm standing outside a hotel in Waukesha, where earlier yesterday the body of 12-year-old Sarah Strode was found, along with three other victims believed to be hotel employees. Apparently the bodies were so mutilated, they're having some trouble identifying these people. Sources close to the victims say this could be related to the escape of mental patient Michael Myers, who he himself is only 11 years old. The connection between is un unclear at the time, but apparently the father of Michael Myers used to be married to the mother of Sarah Strode. We'll keep you updated as we possibly can. I thank you, and I'm Bob Sugar reporting for Channel 11 News. 